Hey, what up, guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome to another special player review today. Let's take a look at the end of an era Dirk Kout item on this game. 90 rated, the Feyenoord winger uh, has got some crazy stats. I'm not going to lie. 82 pace. He's a member of Club 80. That's what we need to know. Uh, but his best stats would be his 88 dribbling and passing, his 90 physical, and his 93 shooting. He is six foot tall with high, high work rates, but only a two star weak foot and three star skills. Could that be an issue for the Dutchman on this game? So, the good thing about team of the season and stuff is that we have a, a plethora of amazing Dutch players to link this guy to. You're not going to struggle to link him up to good players on this game because there are lots of legend options and, of course, Dutch team of the season players that, uh, that you can definitely link him to. This is the main squad that I used him in. He's a right winger in a 4-3-3-4 uh, and also features premium SVC El Shirawe and end of an era Totti as well. Uh, a bit of a mega squad if I do say so myself. So moving on into the in-game stats, they're actually looking incredible for Dirk Kout, considering he's only had one hero item this year. Uh, he's gone from plus, plus nine from that hero item up to a 90 rated, and on basic chemistry, looks absolutely phenomenal, pretty much across the board. Uh, I've gone with the engine chemistry style today, however, just to boost that pace somewhat, the dribbling as well as his uh, as his passing, because I was already happy with the shooting stat and physical stat that he's that he's got on his item. And as you can see, well, just the in-game stats look great. It's time to move him into, into, the, into the game, show you the clips that we got with him so that we can talk positives and negatives. I will start with the negatives first. And there are a couple that you guys definitely need to know about. Uh, skill moves are only three star. He has got great dribbling, however, so it's not that big of a deal. But definitely something that you need to know about. You know, normally at this stage in the game, you guys are picking wingers to use that are like TOTS versions and stuff. Uh, and they've all got like four star skills or above. Uh, that's not something that Dirk Kout has in his locker. Uh, and also the weak foot. That's probably the biggest downfall for this guy is that he's got a two star weak foot. Now... The saving grace is that he is on the right-hand side and he's right-footed. And we all know that this year that is a very important thing because he hits them low-driven shots across the goalkeeper. Um, but inside the box, you're not even really safe to shoot with that two-star weak foot. It's just not great, uh, I have to say. Uh, definitely stick on his right foot because that is, is absolutely superb. And balance stat is not too great. We did try and boost that with the engine chemistry style. I think we did it some justice. Uh, but he's the sort of player that can sometimes feel a little bit, I don't know, like bumbling around and, and, and knocked off the ball from time to time. Uh, but, but that's just the way he is. You know, there are other areas of his game that definitely make up for that. So those are the negatives out of the way. Time to talk positives because I have to say... I had a really great time using this Dirk Cow item, and I think I actually enjoyed using this one more than I did the premium SBC or end of an era Totti, which is a big statement considering the rating difference and stuff like that. Firstly, the pace. It's not like absolutely blistering, but I did notice that I was I was sprinting past defenders with Dirk Cow. He did feel pretty quick on the game, uh, and, and that may not be the, the area of his game which I think he's going to excel at, especially when you first look at his item and see that 82 pace. Uh, maybe the engine chemistry style helped for us, but as you can see, just striding away from defenders, doing a good job there with his pace. I think a lot of that is also down to the first touch that he takes. You know, he either gets that ball straight out of his feet or he just controls it really, really well and, and gets it ready to, to pass on or to, to carry on his run, that sort of thing. Uh, that definitely gives him a, a an edge and a split second advantage against those defenders, which once you do have a little bit of pace on your side as well, that's going to go well for you. And also, his dribbling is fantastic. Uh, it's one of the best parts about him for me is that he can he can run with the ball really well. And you might think, oh, mate, you're so limited because you've only got the three-star skill moves. But trust me, using the LTRT dribbling where you sort of weave in and out of defenders, just sort of change direction quite often, uh, Dirk Kout's very, very solid at that. And uh, that's one of the, as I said, one of the best parts about him. He's also an incredibly well-positioned player. 
Uh, I did move him sometimes to Cam, sometimes to Striker, uh, and then often played him out on the right wing as well. And I've got to say, I think moving him in-game to a Cam role would be the best position for this uh, end of an era SBC item because he's so well-rounded, of course. Uh, he's going to get you assists as well as score you lots and lots of goals. And you've seen that some of them right-footed long shots that we scored are absolutely amazing. He's got a killer right foot uh, when he is nice and composed, which is pretty much all the time because he does have a nice high composure stat of 84 in-game. So overall, I definitely recommend this end of an era SBC item. He was cheaper than Totti, and in my opinion, I had a lot more fun using him. Uh, and yeah, just generally a great player on this game. So let me know if you're going to go ahead and get him, or what your thoughts of him are on this game. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.